Hi, this is a short video just going over how to use uh, Plus for Trello, which is a, a simple little add on for Chrome that allows you to look at uh, to use Trello uh, to do Scrum. It allows for using tracking things like how much time it takes to do things and it will allow you to do burn down graphs and stuff like that so it's quite useful it's also free and you're able to install it at university because it runs from within chrome so you don't need to have any permissions to run it so basically if you do search for it uh, plus for trello uh, you'll end up here and you can basically add it to chrome and it'll install it uh, i've got that done already so i'm not going to show you that bit What you'll find that's different to your normal view of Trello is you get this extra bit at the top and usually the first time you run it it will fire up the help menu and um, if it doesn't do that it might be worth just refreshing it let's try and again um, but if you need to access it it's basically in here um, but this basically just gives you some information of how of how Trello Plus works and some of the stuff that's going on but as we start to fill these things out you'll see more of that so if we click on the help basically it gives you lots of information on how it works um, I'm going to show you some of the more basic things that it does that are going to be useful for you um, but the important thing that I wanted to mention is before you do anything you need to sync it so if you go down through the help you get to uh, around here sync by card comments keywords or stealth uh, you basically need to set this it's set a sync off to begin with you just need to set it to Trello card comments which is the way we're going to use it and then uh, you're good to go how you actually use it is you basically um, the same way that you if you're going to put these things into Excel and add estimates onto them you can do exactly the same thing here so if I open this card here um, what I've got in here is the option to basically put how many hours I've spent on it it defaults as hours uh, and also add an estimate and it's cumulative, so basically you you can you you don't need to um, add it every time. Otherwise, on your estimate, it'll it'll just keep adding and adding. So I'll show you what I mean. If this doesn't show up, you can basically click on this, and this will do the same thing. Uh, so on this character bio task, so I want to do a character biography. I think it's going to. I have spent because I'm starting the setting this the um, this up to do the sprint. I have spent zero hours on it. And I estimate that doing the character bio is probably going to take me uh, three, uh, three hours, maybe. Um, it's a good idea, as you would, this is how you would use Trello anyway, but to, um, as you're going along, is to add comments and things as, as you go so we can see who did it. You can add um, different people to it. So if I had different people in this menu on my sprint I could add them to this at the beginning or this can be done at any point when it's been used um, but I say that's what I want so I've spent n no hours on it so far by estimate it's going to take three hours hit enter and when we click here what you can see is we have bits added on so one comment um, zero hours spent three hours as the estimate so if we go across to here now, we now have extra bits here as well. So we've spent no hours on this sprint so far. We have an estimate of three hours and we have a remainder of three hours to complete. And if you hover over them, it also gives you percentages of completion, which is quite handy as well. You also can run reports from it and um, you can um, also get burn down graphs from it. So. We can go ahead and fill a few more things like this out. So I reckon the mood boards, I've spent zero hours on it. It's going to take me uh, four hours to put those together. Enter rooms, uh, reference, uh, 
No, it's more or less a similar thing, but we'll go for the two hours with that one and enter. I've spent no hours on it, I don't have to put the zero in. So now we have you know, a good chunk of work that needs to be done on the backlog. So we can just basically move these things. So character bio, we move between progress. Uh, I pick that up um, so I can add that it's me. And uh, what have I done? So I have spent uh, two hours on it. And uh, I can make a comment like um, this is going to take longer due to blah oh, longer due to blah um, if that's the case then what I can do is I can add I reckon it's probably I've done two hours on it but I reckon it's going to take another two hours on top of what I've got already um, then if I hit enter, what happens is uh, the remainder is three. Um, I spent two hours on a three hour task, but I've also added two hours. So this three hour task has now become a five hour task. So that basically means there's a remainder of three. Um, so it's relatively straightforward. The other way it could work, uh, so let's uh, save that and well, I can add notes in there. Um, if the other way I could do that is if I, so I'm going to drop this into in progress as well because this has been done at the same time. Um, it may be that I have spent two hours on this and um, so essentially if we look at that that basically means there's a remainder of two but maybe it's actually complete at this point and in which case I can modify and get the remainder down to zero and it will automatically update this hit modify and essentially it gives it so the original estimate is the one in brackets which is four hours but it actually only took two hours now this is really useful when you're at the end of the sprint trying to work out what actually happened it can it, it retains this information and you can run this through the board the report and um, but I could make a comment as well or I could type a note in there to say what had happened and um, so I'll just say um, completed early say comment so it's pretty simple but as you do all these things uh, you can track what's going on different if you attach different people to it and you make sure that you attach yourself to the task that you're doing so you filling it out then it can say a lot about who's done what and it's a really neat way if you're using Trello already it's a really neat way to do that so the last thing I just want to show you is the burn down so this won't be very interesting because these things have just been set up so it'll be a bit chaotic but it'll give you an idea of what is going on so basically in this short period of time I have gone from essentially nothing to having lots of stuff to do and I've started to do some work on it so as you can see um, my estimate if we take it from the point of view that I'm just using the middle mouse wheel to make this a bit bigger and I use the left mouse left click and I can move the thing around um, so this is the point at which really all the information's gone in and to re-estimate some things as it's gone along so, it, so the estimate's gone up slightly the amount of effort that's gone in is going up which is what you want and the remainder should be coming down so essentially if you burn down it's the green ones the one you really need to worry about as long as it's going down you know, it's gravy so and if you come down here you can see with the tasks because I've set up all the tasks they're all assigned to me at the moment but if you had more people attached to this you would see more things you can see how much has been done and how much is left that's assigned to me at the moment and um, so it's quite useful um, and like I say it's free and we can run it at uni so uh, for your projects it could be useful um, that's it 
Thanks a lot.